Good evening, good night, or good morning, family. It's your boy, Cozy Joe, and we are back with another video, y'all. Now, yes, I know. Y'all probably like, bro, this is this is creepy stuff, bro. Like, Spooktober is done. Listen, on this channel, we stay spooky. Regardless, it's just that, you know, Spooktober, I just, you know, I just want to do something a little special. You know what I'm saying? I felt like it. I felt like it. Trust me, there will be a spinoff series in Christmas time. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Anyway, besides that, bro, I hope that y'all had a blessed and amazing and a safe Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Going down the road, getting some candy, or maybe hanging out with your significant other, buying some candy, looking at scary movies, maybe getting a little bit passionate in the sheets if you're married. If not, and you decide to watch some of this Cozy Joe, I appreciate you. And guess what, bro? This is November the 1st. You better not be busting no nuts. No busting nuts around here. I'm like the nut negotiator over here. Seaman sergeant. That's what I am. The cum commander. All right, no busting nuts regardless of it. You shouldn't be busting nuts anyway, especially if you're a Christian. Regardless, even if you ain't a Christian, don't be busting no nuts. What's wrong with you, nigga? You sick? Anyway, bro, let me go ahead and shut up. All right, this, this intro's already been long enough. This one right here is what people wish that the Five Nights at Freddy movie was. I'm not gonna lie, I actually enjoyed the Five Nights at Freddy movie. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It was a little off-putting. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. But it's a solid film, though. I'll watch it again. This one is called Give Life. It's a FNAF VHS. And a little warning for it is about to pop up really soon. So without further ado, y'all, I hope y'all like and subscribe and also please enjoy the show. Okay, warning. The video follows contains um um of horrible traumatizing to audiences. I can't read. Y'all should know that. I can't get through to anyone. Hold on, I gotta hit y'all with a quick pause real quick. I love seeing videos like these, bro. Because I know it's like computer generated. And you know, they add like deep, like, like they just deep fry it with filters, with all types of effects. But bro, it looks so real. Like these niggas really be that passionate into their work and I love seeing that. Let's continue the video. Henry, is that you? Yeah, I'm here. So it's like, I know maybe a little bit of the Finance of Freddy lore. I don't really know too much, but I know I I know the basics. I I can tell you that I know I know the basics of it. You know I don't go deep into the names who got killed, who how got killed. All I know what the Bido 87, 86, whatever it's called. Brody he pulled down his pants and he got his butt cheeks clipped. Okay, that's pretty opium so far. I'm not gonna lie to you, my boy. This isn't funny. Turn the power back on. You talking like that? You far away. <laughs> you the one holding the camera. Is that music playing, or is that like metal moving on the floor? The fact that you in that dark pizzeria by yourself the world with the subtitles just say huh and you gonna hide right there with the flashlight on oh no bro that's crazy nah bro this person is an absolute idiot do we have another stupid protagonist protagonist Bro gonna see a spooky nigga in the corner. He gonna look down so very slowly. It's like, oh my gosh. With the flashlight on. Make that make sense. You have the flashlight on and you still basically in the same spot. You acting like that the nigga not gonna come towards you. He already knows slaughter everybody else in that room. You see that blood painted on the floor? Oh! oh! Okay, I did not expect that. See? I hope that that person got slaughtered. I shouldn't even say stuff like that. That's like against my religion, but that person was stupid. It's 1985, June 26. Nah, Lee, boy, why her arm so long? Why she even built like that? Is that a girl or is that a boy? Look at, look at William Afton. That nigga just chilling, he bobbing. The suspect, hold on, hold on, let's pause this real quick. The suspect was captured on the security feed wearing one of our old spring lock suits, luring a lone child away from the main dining hall and towards a safe room. We all know what, what he did. 
wasn't wasn't William Afton a pedophile? Wasn't he nasty? Oh, so the dude in the corner wasn't William? That must be his brother or something. All right, so this is at 7.51 p.m. Wait a minute. What do you hold up? Wait, wait. I need to start paying attention to the times, bro. At 5.26 p.m. Where's the parents? The parents don't notice this? What y'all doing at a pizzeria that late? My nigga, don't you got daycare in the morning? It's at o'clock p.m. Nah, bro. I, nah, bro. I ain't no way. I ain't no way you staying at a pizzeria that late. These niggas ready to get some of that Freddy weed. I know I didn't just hear any claps. I say I sing you. I sing you. You try to go away. I sing you. Was Freddie Fazbear getting very passionate in the background? Okay. Wait. Suspect left the safe room um, later on that night once the building was closed. It wasn't long before the children were reported missing. Kids vanished at local pizzeria. Bodies now found. Check inside the suits. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get over, overly stimulated with that noise. Soon after, customers began to complain about foul odors coming from the much-loved animals' mascots. Getting into the company, I mean, getting the company into trouble with health department. Now, see, like, listen, listen. If you was a smart police officer, right? You'd be like, okay. The kids were last seen at Freddy's Fazbear. They've been gone for a little while. The mascots stink. Oh my gosh, let's check inside the suits. The kids are inside the suits. But no, no, they're like, no. The suits just dirty. See, bro. See, bro, that's what I'm talking about. We need Batman in these situations. Literally, bro. I'm being so. We need Batman and Spider Man in these type of situations. We don't need no police officers. It was only a few days later that the police were contacted when parents reportedly noticed what appeared to be blood stains and mucus around the eyes of the mascots. Ooh. Blood, but mucus? Where the mucus coming from? The missing children were unfortunately found deceased, stuffed into the animatronics' bodies, presumably to hide. See, okay, okay, my bad. I wasn't familiar with your game. I, I, I take that back. But I feel like we still need Batman and Spider-Man. All right, so we're gonna take some pictures. Oh my God! What is that? Jeremy Hawkins. He was seven years old. Golly, my boy. Gabriel Lloyd, he was nine years old. Susie, bro, it's, 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 that's, that's weird, bro. Because, like, just, just looking at her facial structure, I could just tell she was a Susie. I was about to say Susie until Susie popped up. Four years old. Fritz Davis, he was only 13 years old. Golly, man. Okay, and, and that's, that's Goldie Fresen. That's Goldie Freddy right there. Mm-hmm. You see what's flickering. We know it's you. We know it's you. We believe it's best that the bodies have been removed by our team in order to not impact the busy. Okay. Okay, Mr. William Afton. Now, like, literally, bro, all lore and jokes aside, though, like, real talk, all lore and jokes aside, stuff like this really be, be, like, going on, bro. Like, no matter at what company, if any type of missing or death happens, bro, okay, that's very unfortunate, but we gonna cover it up, though, and we gonna keep things popping, all right? I'm sorry what happened, but we still gotta make this bread. Like, you are a small business. Please close that down, all right? Something's wrong with y'all. It, it was definitely set up. Them are terrible t headstones.
Come on now, do do them a little bit better than that. I mean, like you got this in like Google Fonts. It's a lie. What you mean? It's all a lie. What y'all just witnessed right there, that's like my real nigga face, you know what I'm saying? See bro, I'm into this. I'm into this, you feel me? When you're really nice and seasoned into the horror stuff, bro, you see stuff like that, you already know. You already know what's about to happen, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared, you see these guns? I'm extra skinny, by the way, don't worry. I'm hitting the gym this winter. Trust, trust, I'm gonna I'm be up 40 pounds. Believe it. All right, this one called Report Number Six MP4. It's another FNAF VHS. I just found a random one, y'all. You know, I just felt like making some FNAF content. I haven't made that joke in a while, so let's go ahead and check it out, bro. Let's see what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need. I, I want y'all to help me out, bro. Like, really help me find what to dig into the FNAF lore, as well as the Mandela catalog. Cause I so brought I that up to y'all before. I don't even think I'm qualified for this crap. I'm just here to see what robot that guy was talking about. So I brought this camera to show this. First of all, bro, I'm not gonna really be feeling comfortable looking at animatronic with metal claws on, on their toes. Rusty and dirty and smelly? Oh no, I already know that's an issue. Second of all, why does that cupcake has eyes? And presumably a mouth. At that point, this is very demented. I'm out. What is the bread? How much they be getting paid for this? Because the dude on the movie said the hours are worse and you're not going to be getting paid that much. They could go, go work at BMW or something. Work at Michelin. Work at a manufacturing joint, bro. At least there you have some type of safety. Maybe. Maybe. Jesus. What happened to this crap? What am I even supposed to do with this? We got Scooby-Doo on the cut over here. Not Scooby-Doo, Shaggy. I just ruined the joke. Ah, oh, damn, I just ruined my, my, my vibe. Okay, so... Okay, so... I'm so, I'm, I'm so positive it didn't even move yet. Go ahead and How do I even do that? Go ahead and place the camera down, I was about to say. Alright, I called the guy. He told me step by step what to do. I figured out how to get this stupid arm off. So like you don't see any blood gushing out that? What the hell even is this thing? Yeah bro, look bro, you, you see what I'm talking about? That's a that, that's a cupcake presumably. Don't that thing look like that little Applejack nigga? You know what I'm talking about. Nigga, it be like this. He be like this. With that, with that Jamaican cinnamon stick. I'm not gonna lie, like, you pretty bold, like, turning your entire backside to it. Alright bro, go ahead man, get to work bro. You on the clock, you still in company time. God, this thing smells like shit. How can I even clean this thing? Bro just, bro, bro just- Jesus, son of a- What? I thought this thing was powered off. Like I said, like, like I said y'all. I'm built for this. I'm built for this. Gosh, what now? Taking the job from that dude. Jason? Oh yeah. I remember that guy. 
Yeah, I'm actually right here at the workplace. Yeah? Well, he's actually crazy. He sent me to go find this stupid robot in some warehouse in the middle of nowhere, and it tried to kill me. Like, the thing lunged at me, okay? It lunged at me, it tried to get me. What the hell, are you actually serious? That actually happened? Dude, you're... you're still at that job. Nah, but like, what's what... <laughs> What's getting me is like, most on the phone with him like it's a casual conversation. It's like you calling up your homeboy talking about saying, Hey bro, I just seen a girl with a big old butt. It's like he don't even sound terrified. He's, he really, really, he sounds more amazed than anything with a slight bit of disappointment. Look, what, what does he have you near looking for? Is it robot looking? Is it, is it, does it look like it's from some kind of cheesy pizza place? Yeah, I'm working on some robot. Why? Looks like chicken? some chicken, I don't know. Dude, you got to it. That thing is trying to get- Aw, oh, dang. His friend don't got clapped. About? I told you, his Jason? friend- his, Yeah, his friend Jason? wasn't even, even running. His friend wasn't running. Bro was just casually walking and talking. Come on, open up already! That? <gasps> crap! Crap! Gotta go! What was that? Was that the door? Why didn't you help her? Nigga, are you starting this? Come on. Why didn't you help her? I won't forget that. Bro, y'all need to inform you something, right? Okay, so these are ghosts, right? Ghost, ghost kids that are in that are inside these suits. Why are they mad at everybody else? They just trying to get a bag. They just trying to get a bag. Go after William. Are you that mad? Like, are you that mad at everybody else that you can't touch William? Hey, bro. Nigga, move on, bro. It's time to go. It's time to dip. <laughs> anyway, bro. These were just something slight, you know what I'm saying? Just for November the 1st. Um, better spooky stuff is gonna come. The first video was good, by the way. This one's not, not that bad. And y'all can also let me know what y'all feel about that uh, Friday Night Saturday Freddy movie. I, I think, like I said, I think it, it was pretty good. I only know the basics, the very minimum of the basics. Not all of the basics, I just know the minimum. And will I ever play the games? I don't know. I remember when the game first came out and I never thought it was creepy. Like, all right, y'all, man, I'm about to go in right there for real, for real this time. Y'all stay safe, y'all stay blessed, and y'all stay cozy. Cozy Joe's out. Love, peace, and chicken grease.